All right, so here's my truck with some ramps. Let's look at the ramps. So basically it's a two by eight with this uh, ramp two by eight adapter. You buy this for like, I don't know, I think 30 bucks. Uh, and this is my, my homemade ramp for the bike. So this ramp here is for me to walk up on alongside the bike and here's the bike ramp. So same thing two by eight, but I use some uh, four by ones just uh, put on the side so that way it gives it more support to hold the weight of the bike all right uh, basically bait I, I turned it into a channel uh, you know C channel uh, beam essentially uh, all right and when I first made this I didn't have the uh, the little uh, uh, bolt you know bolt heads up here screws it was just you know the wood by itself and it was it was slippery you know the bike would slip sometimes especially heavier bikes so when i put these in um no slippage goes up really nice and easy all right so let's go back so there's my bike motor Gucci v9 bopper so basically i'm gonna go up this and show you how how i do it basically you know doing it by myself essentially so what, I do, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up the bike and I'm basically gonna put it in first gear, uh, in first gear. Uh, so that's how it goes up. It pushes itself up. I just have to be careful. Uh, you know, the heavier the bike, the harder this is. Uh, the main thing is to keep the bike nice and upright and you don't lose your balance. Um, all right, so let's get that started. You have to make sure that the bike is lined up with the ramps so that way it's not going up uh, crooked. So uh, the straighter it is, the more lined up it is, the easier it is. Uh, that one was kind of tough because because this pavement here is actually down on the hill if the pavement was fat it would have been easier uh also if the or if the pavement was actually uh down downhill towards towards the bike it would be easier the part that i almost fell i almost dropped the bike because right here right here as the as the front wheel went over over this onto the uh onto the bed of the truck into the channel um I don't think it was perfectly lined up, and it kind of when when it which when it uh, when it, the tire went into the channel, it kind of moved a little bit, uh, and it kind of threw me off, and almost threw me out of balance. So I almost fell. I almost fell basically. Good thing I didn't. And also, other thing is, I think my ramp was actually a little bit too close. My walking ramp was actually too close to the to the bike ramp. I should have moved it out just a couple inches, uh, and it would it would have been better because I was like way too close to the to the bike. 
Oof, that was a close one. Uh, I think going downhill is probably easier than going uphill. Because going downhill, all you have to do is, you know, you don't have to start the bike or anything like that. All you have to do is just uh, leave it in gear and um, and uh, release it, slowly release the clutch as you go down. And that's also your brake as well. So this going uphill, you have to uh, use the, the front brake and and the clutch at the same time and, you know, and juggle that. So it's a little bit more, more going on. Okay, whew, almost dropped it, man. That was very close. Um, yeah. Okay, so now, so this bike's kind of long. So the wheels, obviously, sitting on here, I have to basically just have to wiggle, grab the ramp at the end and just wiggle it side to side until it releases. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's how I did it last time. Can't even, I don't even quite remember. But anyways, um, yeah, that was a close one. All right, that's it. I just need to tie her down.